We are once again on the going to the sun road. This is our fifth day in a row <laughs> driving up here. And uh, we're seeing certain elements out here for the first time ever. Haven't seen that mountain and we can kind of see it. Those guys are peeking out. really busy today. Really like, busy. Usually we're one of the only ones up here. Oh, look at that line of cars. morning. We are in Glacier National Park again on the east side this time. Took all morning to get over here. We got up at 5, left a little before 6 a.m. and got over here to Mini Glaciers about 8.30. It's now 9 o'clock and we are heading up to Grenell Glacier. Uh, Sue forgot something in the car so I'm waiting at a bridge crossing. We're only like a half a mile in, so she ran back to the car. But uh, most of the morning was burned up driving out here because it took like two and a half hours to get out here. So now we're gonna go up and see what it looks like because it's not smoky today and it's not stormy either. We got clouds moving out. So it should be a nice day, I hope. We recovered everything that needed to be recovered from the car. And now we are moving. And I batted an extra mile to my hike today. An extra run. An extra mile run. Oh, I thought there was, um, it sounded kind of like a uh, heavy machinery grader going. It's the boat. Oh. Chugging along the lake. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah, that's the boat that they said would cut off like two miles of this. Oh, but it's the whole. It's, it's the, whole the easiest way. two miles. But yeah, it's the whole way around the lake. It's like the nice stroll part. Keep going. Well, we're gonna go catch up to the crowd getting off the boat. Oh yeah, single little blue shiny pod. It's called a marble berry, jelly berry. It looks bean. like a jelly bean. You're right. It looks like a jelly bean. just commenting back on the trail that we saw some very fresh <laughs> bear droppings and then there it was there was a bear yeah. a grizzly no less Ooh. so we took some pictures took some video and just kept on walking <laughs> Don't want them to be interested in us. Know that we're there, but not interested. Yeah. That was a grizzly bear. Yeah. We haven't seen one this trip. I've seen one never. Definitely grizzly bear. Yeah. 
blonde in color, round ears. Hump? Hump between his front shoulders. And it was nice that he was occupied eating things and didn't care that we were there. And so we can just slip by. Didn't get startled. Nope. <sighs> Knew we were there. Woo! Wow. Yeah, pretty cool. <laughs> Good thing is, this trail is very well traveled for bears and moose. Bad thing is, it's basically a line. <laughs> Everybody just hikes on a line up the side of the mountain. Oh well. It's not exactly a unknown trail. <laughs> no, it's very well traveled. But you don't have to worry about grizzly bears or moose. Yeah. Oh well, they can't all be abandoned. No. And in this case, I'm kind of glad there's plenty of people out here because we won't be surprising any animals that could kill us. We saw a grizzly bear and heard the tail of a moose nearby. But other people- But we people, saw neither head nor tail. No, of the moose. Just the bear. Ever closer. We came from that lake around the corner. <sighs> oh, that's amazing. <sighs> All right, should we finish this? Yeah. The altitude plus the steep at the end. Let's finish it. Finish him. Almost there. We did it. We did. It's cold up here. It's really cold. There's ice in the water. I was really sweaty when we arrived, but now I'm just cold. This is beautiful. What a special thing to do. Yeah, this is pretty cool. I'm glad we did this. This is the closest we've ever gotten to a glacier. Is it? Did we go on one in Alaska? I feel like we saw one from across the lake. We saw one from across the lake. What about um, uh, New Zealand? Oh, New Zealand we might have gone. Mm, no, we didn't get Tasman, up The Tasman, we were across the lake. Um, Fox we didn't go the, to. Fox, Mindenhall. Mindenhall we hiked to, but we saw from a distance. It was up yeah. in the canyon. Yeah, this is the closest. Yep, you're right. This lake has icebergs in it.
There, there's proof that we both made it. <laughs> we did make it. The lake, the waterfalls, glacier, glacier other, <laughs> glacier proper, <laughs> icebergs. It's all there and we're here. It was a, a really fun hike. Yeah. Really hard the last part just because you start getting tired, but it was a really fun hike up here. We did it in just over two hours mm. from the bridge at the bottom. So I think we're gonna take some pictures and then start heading down, right? That sounds good. Pump some water out of the glacial water. Yeah. Out of the glacial lake. We figured bringing our uh, water filter was less weight than bringing extra water since we knew we were gonna be over streams and by lakes the whole time. So we'll see how it tastes. Apparently it's amazing for coffee. <laughs> Slow demise of the glaciers. Our old, old filter. Let me see how it does. What do you think? Yeah. Let it pump a little bit because we haven't used it in a while. These things actually pump pretty fast. Yeah, they do. And it does it on the up and down draw. There you go. Crystal clear, clean. Fresh Thank water you. from the glacier. It looks real nice. Okay. <laughs> what do you think? It's really, really cold. Brain freeze. I can barely touch it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Yeah. Tastes like water, minerally. Right. Actually, it tastes really fresh. It's fresh pumped out of the lake. And it's really <laughs> cold. We're ready to head back. We pumped water and we are both full on icy cold glacial water. <sighs> and now we're heading back. It's all downhill from here. <laughs> For reals. <laughs> I think this thin air is getting to me. We've been at sea level for so long. Now we're at like 6,800. I can kind of feel it a little. Can you? Yeah. I hurt my knee. Oh no, don't hurt your knee. Just felt weird. All right, down we go. Yeah, we were just up there. We're moving. There's a moose on the bank of the lake down there, Lake Grinnell. Yeah. Alright, we've seen the big three. <laughs> big horn sheep, a grizzly, and a moose. <laughs> How weird. That's crazy. Good eyes, babe. There's the profile of them. <laughs> He's just chilling, enjoying the water, oh, isn't he? Right on the beach. <laughs> Such a big animal. <laughs> wow. Crazy. Alright, keep going. Maybe we don't want to see one. They're gigantic. We started a thing behind us. I think I was the first one to see the moose on the shore. And I sort of caused a traffic jam, everybody looking at it. But it's pretty cool because it's like you can really see it. Crowded trail strategy number one. 
spot a moose on the lake and make everybody look at it and then squeeze past everybody. <laughs> <laughs> We're dropping altitude fast now. We're losing all that altitude we climbed up. I have a question. For me? Yeah. Um, do, does there actually have to be a moose? That's true. Make it up. <laughs> make up that you saw a moose or a grizzly bear and make everybody stop to look at it. And then squeeze past them and get down the mountain. Look at, we were up there. Isn't that wild? Huh? Oh, <laughs> no, I was talking to him. <laughs> <laughs> so, we saw a grizzly bear, then bighorn sheep, and then a moose. Yeah. Now we just need to see a grizzly bear eating some bighorn sheep while riding a moose. <laughs> I'm trying to see if I could see Moose Cove again, but I think we're beyond that. He might not be there, or you could see him across, going across the lake, like swimming. <laughs> like, <laughs> that's how they do it. All four legs. Just breaststroke. Just a moose breaststroking across the, the lake. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that's how they do it. Amazingly, we're almost back down. That one's so much faster. The glacier's up there. The lake with the boat, right here. But that means we're getting back into bear country. That's right. Clap, clap. And not country bears. Bear country. It's a different thing. So no jamboree? No. Dang it. A little banjo, a little washboard. Teddy bear little. wearing a necktie and a hat. Yeah, you know, nature. This has been a fantastic hike. Yeah, it, has. it is pretty strenuous actually, because it's all uphill and then all downhill. You can't, you can't mix, it's not flat for very much. And what made it even better, we saw a grizzly bear and a blonde one at that. We saw uh, longhorn sheep in yeah. their, on the rock faces. And we saw a moose from afar wading out into the water to practice swimming, his <laughs> swim lessons. So it's been pretty cool. And none of those animals threatened us. I've been around black bears most of my life and I don't really mind them. Grizzly bear is a different animal. Entirely. Literally. <laughs> I love how you said none of the animals threatened us. I don't know, I was just hearing like some sort of animal being like, you get off of my path, you say. Yeah, none of that happened. I own this path, you say. <laughs> All right, almost back. The sun and storm clouds, it's a pretty awesome mix. Yeah, this was the perfect day for this. It was either smoke or everything was shrouded in clouds and rain. I think we got the perfect pocket in between. We're back at the forgetful bridge. Forgetful bridge. The dodo brain bridge. This is where I was standing when Sue forgot her stuff and went for a mile long jog this morning. <laughs> I completed my exercise ring on my Apple Watch before we really even began to hike. <laughs> Wow. Look at these clouds. <sighs> We're back.
back. We finished it. I'm tired. And now we just have a two and a half hour drive back.